Hey everyone, it's Mark and Evie from Ice Cream Meltdown. Thanks for joining us again. I did a poll on my uh, YouTube channel page, the community tab, to see if you wanted to try Kit Kat or Butterfinger ice cream, which one you'd prefer. And 64% of you said Kit Kat. Um, so that's what we're trying tonight. This is, uh, this is it, it's from the Hershey Company, Kit Kat there. It says it's a light ice cream. It says chocolate and wafer light ice cream uh, with wafer swirl and Kit Kat candy pieces. So are you excited to try this one, Evie? Uh-huh. All right, yeah. Evie doesn't like to be in all my videos. It really depends on the flavor we're having, but this one looked pretty appealing. So let's give it a shot. This is what it looks like. Peel the lid off. It's got like a chocolatey ice cream. It says chocolate and wafer. So it's, it's not chocolate vanilla, it's chocolate and wafer. So you wanna take a scoop of that and put it in your bowl, Eve? There we go. All right, that's, that's a big scoop. pretty big scoop. <laughs> she must really want some of this. Okay, that's what it looks like. Get a close up there. I'll try a piece. Oh, there's chunks of Kit Kat in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's it, so. Looks pretty good at first glance. Usually my only critique of these that I don't love is they start with skim milk as the first ingredient. Cream is like the third ingredient. Um, it says skim milk, sugar, oh, corn syrup, and then cream. Um, the higher quality ice creams usually start with cream, but let's see how it tastes. Evie, what do you think? It, well, to me, it kind of just tastes like, um, well, chocolate ice cream with Kit Kats in it, so. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, tastes like a Kit Kat. If you love Kit Kat, if you grew up eating those for Halloween or whatever, this will be a very familiar flavor. Mm. I like it because the Kit Kat pieces are not like soggy, they're pretty crunchy. Somehow they managed to keep them crispy like that. I don't know what they did. Those are little chunks in there. Um, and here's something on the ingredients. It's got 180 calories, 20 grams of sugar, but there's a huge list of ingredients there. All sorts of stuff. In the premium ice creams, it's usually like maybe a third of the size of the list, but that's what it looks like. Pretty tasty. Oh, Evie got a big chunk of Kit Kat. Why don't you show them? Yeah, take a bite of that. Not bad. All right, what are you going to rate it, Eve? Um, well, I really like Kit Kat, so I'll probably rate it, um, probably an 8.5 out of 10. Ah, 8.5 out of 10. That's a pretty good rating. All right, this one... It's hard to go wrong with this flavor because it's like a malt flavor and a chocolate flavor and Kit Kat, which all is good. So the flavor itself, I'd give it a good rating. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a tasty ice cream. I think you'll like it, especially if you're a Kit Kat fan. Personally, I like the ice creams that start with cream as the first ingredient. They're a little thicker, higher butter fat. This is a light ice cream. So that'd probably be the, the reason I wouldn't give it a higher rating. Just uh, it's not as dense uh, as I like some of the ice creams like Haagen-Dazs, Ben & Jerry's, some of those. But, um, and it's normally about six fifty, I think, for one of these, which is a half, gal half gallon, I think. Yeah. 1.5 quarts. Is that a half gallon? I don't know. Someone help me with the math. Um, but it's like six fifty. This was on sale. It was about four fifty. So pretty good deal. I'd say it's worth it. Anything else you want to share with them about the Kit Kat, Evie? Um, no. You recommend it? Um, yeah. Yeah, she's eating it. She's focused. All right. So this was Mark and Evie from Ice Cream Meltdown. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and we we'll hope to see you again soon.